Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we bust a BIP report by sending the output to a UCM channel. Let's see that logic now. So the first thing is, this is a sample BIP data model. So in this, if you observe, we have a column called party ID, which we are considering as a part key. And this is a sample data model. And now let us see what is the logic we would have written in the busting. So we'll show you the busting one. So in the busting also, we had a similar query and observe carefully that, you know, like a party ID is considered as key. And we have a, some set of very different columns or parameters, especially for the purpose of UCM. So we'll explain this particular parameter information in the coming slide. And here we have split the data based on key. So expecting that we'll be having a report for each party ID. And now the sample uh, report and observe the template name. So this template name we should consider in our busting query. And the other thing is, as we know that like uh, we want to send the output of this particular BIP report into the UCM, Universal Content Management. But how do we know the information of it? So you can observe here, once you log into the BIP, click on your user account administration, and in the administration, click on content server. And then you should be able to see the information about the server name. Okay. And there are a couple of other columns which are not visible here, but yeah, Oracle provided the information of that. So, but the server name is this one. And here, let us have a clarity on the bursting query. So the first column is the key, which we consider party ID as our key. And the next one is the template name, the exact template name, which you have considered while loading the template in the report. Next one is the locale, the locale of the template. So sometimes when we load the template, right, we, we may consider en hyphen us or en, en hyphen some other language, right? So if you don't consider the language, observe carefully what is the language you mentioned and you mentioned the appropriate locale here. Output format. So in our case, we want to mention it as XLX because we want the Excel output. And the other column, delivery channel and the parameter one and two, you have to mention exactly the same name. So this is Oracle provided documentation information. The WCC we have to mention for delivery channel, FA underscore UCM underscore provision as a parameter one and the FA fusion import export as a parameter two. Now the parameter three is nothing but the author of the report. And the next one is the parameter five. Parameter five is the title of your report. And the parameter six is the, the file name, which when you get download the file name, this is the file name which will get observed. And the parameter seven is just the comment information you can ignore or you can mention some information. And parameter nine also is like an include metadata. You can also ignore that information. And we have registered this particular report as a ESS job. So when you register the BIP job as a ESS job, only very important information you have to consider is you have to make sure that you select the busting report checkbox. Until unless you check the busting report checkbox, it will not invoke the busting query which we have written at the data model level. Okay, now once this is done, just run the report and if at all, if the report works fine and you should be able to see a list of outputs like this, which are generated, and you can see the information at the, like if you just expand the output name, it will show all the information, whatever we have mentioned in our busting query, the server name, security group, the author, title, file name, and the comments, all a couple of things it will mention, okay? And now, how do we know that the report got generated to UCM? So what you can do is you can navigate to the UCM. The navigation of the UCM is nothing but your Fusion Apps URL slash CS. Once you click on slash CS, it will navigate to the web center content and then you can click on search and click on advanced in the advanced you mention the security group as fa fusion import export and just simply click on search you should be able to see the list of reports which are generated and of course you can select the information based on the title also and the same similar information you can also get it from the file import export and you can just navigate to the fusion apps url and you can just search file import export in the tools and then here if you observe the title you know, like based on the title, whatever we mentioned. So it is like a party ID. It's a file name, right? It's a party ID and appended by the report.xlsx. That's what we mentioned in our busting. So let us try to mention the, like I show you the information of the same thing again. So I'll just navigate here. Yeah. So this is my party data, data model. And now this is a busting query, which we have just saw it. And just observe the template name. 
I'll go to the report. So here, if I observe, this is a template name. This is a name, the same name we have to mention when we run the report. Okay, so now we'll just try to run the report now. So this is the report name, this percentile. Yeah, click on OK. And as of now, there are no parameters mentioned. So I'll just simply click on Submit. It is ending with 469. Yeah, it may take a couple of seconds, but yeah. And you can just copy this URL and you can just open slash CS and the UCM will get open. And here you can just click on search and you can go with advanced and then just simply search with the security group, FA Fusion import export. So how do we know that? Like I see when we defined our data model, right? the busting one so we clearly mentioned fa fusion import export is our security group the parameter two so click on search and yep so this is our report we ucm busting report hyphen party id hyphen time so that's the latest query we have mentioned so if you observe the busting right so ucm busting report hyphen party id hyphen the timing for the parameter five so parameter five is nothing but the title and we also have the file name. So title is different and file name is different. So if you just consider this is a title and once you click on this icon, the information icon, it will show the title also. So this is a party ID and then concatenate by the, or like um, hours and minutes and seconds, then followed by the report. And once you click on this, it will download the Excel file. And similarly, as I said, you can also find a similar information from here at this level also. You can just simply click on search or maybe you can search the data based on the file name so here we don't have an option to search based on the title you have to search based on the file name only so you can just simply do a blind search you should be able to get it okay so and also observe the report output here so just click here on the report output and we should be able to get good amount of information here And once you expand this one, it will show you the all the information, like whatever we mentioned while we consider generating the report. So this is the title and this is a report with file name and the comments, custom data, I mean like uh, custom metadata of content ID is auto generated. Okay, so this is how we can generate the busting file to the UCM content. So the very important thing is the parameters, whatever you mentioned has to have a, has to have a, has to be very clear. It should be according to the Oracle provided documentation. Okay, that's all about this. Thank you.